In my last video, there was a section that I almost removed when I was editing because it wasn't altogether that accurate. It was the section where I was talking about being the type of person to question things when people tell me not to question them, and that I analyze things when people or society tells me not to analyze them. And I suggested that, oh, I've, I'm wired that way, and, and I've always been that way, and, and that's not altogether true. I essentially rewired myself after having an experience when I was 12. Um, so, you know, that, that doesn't amount to, uh, oh, I've always been that way. No, before I was 12, before that experience when I was 12, I was like Flanders kids. You know, I pretty much blindly believed just about anything adults would tell me. It was pathetic. I, and I kind of looked like Flanders kids as well. But, uh, yeah, when I was 12, I had a really high fever, I was really sick, and I was given NyQuil, and I had hallucinations. And from my perspective at the time, I had an out-of-body experience. I made new connections in my brain that I had never made before, and uh, I, I saw things that completely clashed with the religious teachings I had been taught. You know, totally clashed. It was a terrifying experience at the time, but it was also a very life-changing experience. And it was from that point on that I started to question things and started to analyze things, you know, without looking at everything through some sort of religious lens. There was even a point later that year when I was in Sunday school and they, they were trying to teach, oh, the Bible says not to swear. And I'm like, well, where does it say that? And they're like, well, you just shouldn't do it. And I walked out. I just walked out, didn't say a word. I walked out and walked home. And my mother was getting ready to come pick me up. And she's like, oh, you're home. You know? Yeah, it changed me. It definitely changed me. But I wasn't that way, you know, before that point. I, I was like Flanders kids. And it's quite embarrassing. But, uh, yeah, I should have just cut that little section out of the video, but, uh, heh, that allows me to make another video talking uh, more about myself, right? In my, uh, I guess, kind of narcissistic tendencies, right? 